up guys? So today we're going to do cross schools algorithm. Now cross schools is a method to find the minimum spanning tree. And that is basically connecting all the vertices. We're using the smallest weights, but having no loops. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're basically just going to choose the smallest edge. Okay. To start off with. So here I see one. Now your goal is just to keep highlighting the smallest edges, whether they're connected to what you already got or not but just make sure there's no loops. Okay, so for example, the next smallest edge is gonna be two, okay? So I highlight that there. Now the next smallest edge I've got to connect is either the threes or the threes, so for this one or this one. Now I can't connect this one because this is gonna form a loop and you're not allowed to do that. So I have to convert, oh sorry, highlight this one. So that one there. Now the only one remaining is connecting vertice B, so obviously I have to choose four. And that's it, that's super simple. So if you wanna find the weight of all of it, just add up these numbers that you've highlighted and you're done. Okay, let's look at a little bit of a more complicated example, but same process. So first of all, choose the smallest edge. Now here I can see it's one and you're gonna choose the next smallest edge within the network, just make no loops. So the next one here is the two there. Next one I can see, okay, so I think it's gonna be this four, right? So that one looks fine, just connect it there. Next one, you've got either these fives, okay? So you've got a decision to make. So either I connect this, well, I can't actually, right? Because that's a loop. So I have to connect that one there. So that's easy decision. Okay, now I've got to connect the next smallest one. So here I can see it's gonna be six. So you can see it's all the way over here, but it's all good. So as long as it doesn't make a loop. Okay, so find the next smallest edge. So I think that is, now it could be seven, but seven causes a problem because that's connected. That'll make a loop, sorry. Same with eight, so I can't do that. So I think I have to go for nine there. And then that's it. So make sure all your vertices are connected. So here, yep, G, E, F, D, C, B, and A. And then finally, there are no loops. So if you need to find the weight of the minimum spanning tree, just add up all the numbers that you've highlighted. All right, that was a super quick lesson. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.